Hi there folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. I just wanted to share with you quickly concerning the final part of this debate um, between make me and making it explicit. I brought up in my last video the the intellectual bankruptcy of atheism. I just brought to everybody's attention uh, concerning making it explicit's influence on his historical uh, thinking. Uh, a book by uh, Fomenko and making it, making it explicit has absolutely denied outright that there is any truth in what I've said whatsoever. And basically um, me and making it explicit were discussing various philosophical issues and I asked him I personally asked him because he claimed to be a historian and I was giving him the respect as a historian and I personally asked him could you recommend me a book uh, to read that has been a, an influence on you I specifically asked him this and he recommended me this book and the way he recommended the book, it came across to me as if he was some kind of hotshot intellectual and this book was superb and uh, he specifically said it's never been answered. Uh, I, I didn't read the book because uh, I, I have so many things to read but because I asked about making it explicit uh, intellectual foundations uh, in another video called Atheism Demolished and he refused outright to give us an indication whether he was influenced by feminist historians or Marxist historians or whatever. Uh, I thought, well, we, you know, I like to get behind a thinker. I like to get behind a scholar and see what influence it influences them. And so that helps me to critique them uh, better. So, so I, I remembered that we had a conversation uh, on Skype and that he recommended this book so I thought I'll go and have a look at it and when I had a look at it today I was just absolutely shocked at the actual uh, off the wall kind of historian uh, Fomenko is I was just absolutely gobsmacked I mean this guy believes that uh, Jesus is a Russian uh, a Russian aristocrat for goodness sake I mean it, off the wall stuff I couldn't believe it, so when I made my video, uh, the, the Intellectual Bankruptcy of Atheism, uh, I just thought I'd tuck it in there concerning making it an explicit and the book that he recommended. Now, he's made a video absolutely saying that I'm either dumb or completely dishonest, and he says he has transcripts of the, um, the Skype conversation, and all I have to say making it explicit is do us all a favour, publish the man, uh, publish the transcripts. I would love to to read them. Uh, we had some really interesting conversations, so it would be good to read read uh, those transcripts, mate. So go ahead, um, publish them, mate. Um, I'd, I'd 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 love you to do it. And uh, he was also challenged because he claims to be a historian. He's also been challenged to back it up with some. Um, some things that I can read so I can critique him you know if he's a historian he must have done a PhD and he must have scholarly articles that he's published he's claimed to be a historian he's claimed to be um, working in an academic institution um, so if this is the case then he should uh, if, if he's intellectually honest uh, let me know what his PhD is and his articles now if he has a PhD and if he has written articles then if he tells us the PhD is written and the articles he's written we can have a look at his work and we can see if we can find any references to Fomenko the historian thereby checking out whether what I'm saying is the truth or not because if he has a PhD and he has written articles then if I'm telling the truth there would be some kind of comments to this 
historian or historians like him. Um, so, making it explicit, I can't understand why you can't tell us what your PhD is and tell us what articles you've written so we can read it and find out for ourselves. So, let's just recap here. We have this uh, atheist who claims to be an academic historian. Um, everybody tells me he's a hotshot intellectual. Uh, it's funny that an academic historian uh, will not have an academic debate. He's refused to have an academic debate, so that's very strange. It's funny that this academic historian uh, recommended, he recommended a book to me to read as if it was some kind of hotshot intellectual book who's recommended an off-the-wall fringe scholarship that is just totally crazy saying Jesus is like a Russian I mean come on and thirdly uh, will not disclose his PhD or any scholarly articles and fourthly ends his videos with abusive comments or puts abusive comments in his videos against me I'm not being funny but that just doesn't seem like an academic historian to me for some reason anyhow then he says um, he wraps off a lot of uh, atheist names and says you haven't debunked atheism if you haven't dealt with them well I have read some of the major key texts in atheism all right and I am researching a book on Sam Harris so when I get time I will write you uh, a couple of essays a couple of articles on these so-called atheists that I have not looked at in um, and uh, I, I'll write some essays on them and you can check them out and see how good my academic work is mate but as far as I'm concerned at the moment all we're getting is a lot of mouth from you and nothing substantial and uh, nothing in depth really so you're kind of on the carpet you're kind of like on the floor mate so I'm sorry about that but that's the way it is um, you've been completely demolished um, so Aaron Ra where are you mate bring it on mate because you're next you need to you need to be taught a lesson now uh, you're the one who goes around saying there's no evidence for the Christian faith then come on my channel make comments about the Christian faith that Jesus is a fable we've done a number of videos now on the issue of the historicity of Christ you've not been able to come and take me on and challenge me in any shape or form so that you can go around America pumping your nonsense out your absolute nonsense and yet you're not willing to make a stand and give evidence for your position is a total disgrace bro and um, I just hope the atheists see through the charade of these atheists who set themselves up as intellectuals but when you challenge them it's just a puff of smoke I mean it, there's nothing there really there's no meat to the subject there's no meat to the issues that's the way I see it and um, I hope in time uh, the atheist community uh, will change and, and get the right together but at the moment they're, they're a complete and utter joke um, I will be doing uh, an amnesty in four weeks time where I will, will be unblocking all atheists that I have blocked who have not had high standards and I will be unblocking them and I hope that you will begin to come on and begin to comment in, in, in a decent, scholarly, fair way. Um, so there is an amnesty in four weeks time and I hope that the atheists change their attitude. But at the moment, I'm sorry to say it, but you're completely lost, atheist. You're completely lost, you're completely destroyed, you're completely demolished and um, I, I just think that you haven't got a leg to stand on uh, on this issue about Christ 
and the resurrection of Christ and the historicity of Christ you've been you've been totally outgunned you've been totally outmatched and it's and uh, and that's as simple as that and you can attack me personally make silly personal comments against me but just go through the videos the last six videos that I've made and make up your own mind uh, but you have you have been shown to be uh, shallow, um, out of your league, out of your depth, atheist. And um, just be honest. Alright, just be honest. Thanks for listening and take care. God bless.